Well guys, today is March the 14th. Uh, we're out here off Pert Regional doing a little bit of smilt fishing and uh, these holes was already cut here. Uh, someone was cutting, uh, fishing here yesterday. And we're getting a few smilts and a few trout. Uh, there's another fellow fisherman there, uh, Stan Sanders. He got a few smilts net there and uh, I'm soon gonna lay up the stove now and get on a little, put on a little lunch and a coffee and uh, clean those up. I pretty much got enough there now. So anyway, another large day here in the big land. Look at that, just uh, turned off the camera and got this another beautiful trout. Look at that, nice sweet belly. Look at that there. A couple more over right there, so yeah, it's a wonderful day in the east, no doubt about it. I had the Aberdeens before, but they didn't have those little funny little crooks in them. Okay, and no, no, those red but ones like that, they're deadly, is it? They, they, they're really good. Okay. Like those are, and uh, I'm just trying to make them in better shape and rounder. Okay, instead. you just takes that little crook there and yeah. straightens them out a little bit. Yeah. Right, I'm going to give that a try. Uh, and you can see that's what he's using and he's doing very well. And i got to show this here too. This is the kind of things you do is after you, you lose a knife. <laughs> that's a great idea though, eh? A little yeah. floater on there so you got no worries. That's a great idea. <laughs> and anyway, I'm going to... Get back here, do a little more fishing, then I'm gonna get the stove lit there. The the stove set up there, and uh, I'm gonna soon clean in the fish now while I'm waiting for the water to boil. And beautiful day, there's more people getting out on the ice all the time. Screw's steady on the go here now, pretty much. Another bunch just come right there, so everyone out, out enjoying the beautiful weather. Because we got more snow on the way tomorrow, next tomorrow night, and the next day, so <laughs> enjoy it when you can. One, two, three four five six trout out of it and that's all i'm going to keep i'm after letting a couple more go and that's a few smilts there our mother-in-law wants the feed to take back to makovic and uh, i'm going to throw you a few up tomorrow i'll probably have the trout for supper anyway i'm going to clean these up now while i'm uh, just waiting for the water to boil there man what a day and noise well guys, that's the trout right there, got those clean, and there's the smilts, and uh, we're catching them at the same hole, and you can see, look, the, the trout is actually feeding off the smaller uh, smilts. There's a couple there, and uh, the party got one of the trouts. Oh, look at that one there. The beautiful trout. Lake Melville trout. Yeah, well guys, next time you go uh, smilt fishing, see you pick yourself up some of those red hooks like that. Uh, you know, I've seen quite a bit of difference since I put those on, and uh, thanks to Stan for that one. Stand the man. Well guys, I got some capelin here that was cured and dried. Uh, we usually do our own, but I bought these because uh, capelin, you know, is getting a little harder to get now. But, uh, you know, different ways you can roast them. Uh, over open fire outdoors or some people put them on trays and put them in the oven or you could even you know roast them over your burner in the house but uh, that makes a bit of a stink but uh, the best way i like is right on top of a wood stove like this and let me heat up pretty good and you can hear them sizzling a little bit there already now these here are a little saltier than what i'm used to but uh i guess you'll have to do oh my god it smells good already I'm not sure if you can hear them sizzling there. See them there roasting up. Nice. Oh, look, almost done in that side. And this, to me, is the best way to do them. You know, right on top of a stove like this. Look at that, done to perfection, man. That's all right. Lots of screws on the go today, taking advantage of this beautiful day here. Look at that.
Let me do this one here. It's a little bit harder yet. <coughs> and this is the entire cape and gotten everything is still in this cape Mmm. The head is the best part. <laughs> I bet you eat lots of them growing up. Oh, geez, yeah. One time you have a little ball up, that's all you have a few capelin, you know, and a slice of bread and a cup of tea. Capelin, fish, partridges, ducks, geese, and. All the good stuff. Dad used to get Bertie Winters to send down all his uh, South Cod. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean that's a proper that's a proper boil up when you got roundos and codfish there, but let's move them to the edge. Yeah, they, they over cured these. <laughs> well, they said, uh, they're hard to get now. They'll have to do, but they hit there. They're good. Mm. Now that's what I call a sandwich. Well, anyway, guys, uh, I guess that's it for this video. Like always, uh, thanks for watching. Until next time.